Hey guys, I can honestly say I do not remember the last time I sat down to film a haul. I think it's been like two months, which is ridiculous. And I'm so sorry. Honestly, I just didn't need any more clothes. I have so much clothes and it takes a really long time to film these videos and I've been so busy with school, but I am bringing them back now since I'm almost done with school. I literally have two more weeks of school. I think I have one more week of classes. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think I have one more week of classes and then finals come up. So I have worked with a bunch of brands and I've picked out a bunch of items. So you guys are gonna see lots of hauls coming on the way. I'm really excited. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do once I'm in London for hauls. I know I'm definitely gonna do some shopping while I'm there. So if there are any places that you guys want me to go to while I'm there, let me know in the comments down below and um, I'll definitely add that to like a list of things to do while I'm down there. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I bought all of this with my own money, which is not usual, so I thought we would just do a separate haul for this stuff, and I'm really excited. So the first place that I got stuff from was Adidas, so I finally got my hands on the um, Adidas NMDs. These are the XR1, I believe. So I got the all white, colorway and if you guys know of any like um stain resistant sprays rubs anything like that that i can put on these shoes before i wear them please let me know i've worn them once outside and they're perfectly fine to be honest like even the bottoms aren't that dirty i'm just more so worried about makeup like i already have some little stains on here from my hands um because i touched them like after i did my makeup and i didn't even think about it so these actually fit perfectly there's maybe like I don't know, a quarter of an inch in the back, but once I put socks on, you can't really feel anything. They're super, super comfortable so far, um, and yeah, I really, really like them. The next place is going to be Lululemon. So I got two leggings. I got these ages ago, but I haven't actually shown them to you guys yet, unless you follow me on my Instagram or my Snapchat, so I thought I would show them to you all. Um, I don't know the name of these, so I'm really sorry, but I'll try and link everything down below. If I forget to link anything, just tell me in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to the description box. But I'm either a size 2, 4, or 6 in Lulu's. So my recommendation is to just go in the store and try them on. These are their Wonder Under Pant. So I usually wear a size 4 in these, but in this type, I'm wearing a size 6. So the material kind of reminds me of snakeskin. Um, and it kind of has like a rougher material. It's like a little more textured than your regular Wonder Under and that's just because of the actual pattern that they put on it. But I haven't had any pilling. I've worn these multiple times. Um, no pilling, no shedding, no fraying or anything. So I really, really like these. These were like $100, I know. But to be honest, all I wear is Lululemon leggings now. So I can't even complain. Um, but I really, really like these. They look great on, and they look really short, but they actually go all the way down to my ankle, and I'm five nine and a half, so can't complain. And then these. So I have the All the Right Places Pant 1. These are the All the Right Places Pant 2, and the ones that I have, they're red. That was my first pair of Lulus that I got. There is a little bit of, like, um, pilling from the threads now, but I've literally had them for, like, over a year. I have worn these once and they're already like splitting down the back of the pant. So I will say that the second version are a little tighter than the first version. So I have a two in the first version. So I got a two in the second version. I tried them on and they felt a little tight, but I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. So I don't have the receipt for this anymore, but I'm going to call them and see if I can just come in and exchange and get a different pair, maybe get the size four, because I don't really care if it's pilling like here and stuff like that. That's fine. Leggings do that all the time, but it's literally like pilling down the <laughs> middle of the pant. And that means I can't squat in these or do anything in them that involve my legs. So a lot of people ask me where I get the majority of my athletic clothes and it's usually from like a Marshalls, TJ Maxx or some other off price store. So I picked up a bunch of stuff from Marshalls a while ago and I finally decided, you know, it'd probably be a good idea if I actually showed you guys this stuff. So this is my favorite sports bra that I own. It's by the brand Rika or Ryko. I think it's Rika. It has like the little accent over the top. So I don't know how it's pronounced, but 
looks like this. Um, this is in a size, I believe it was a small, because I think the extra small is a little too tight. My back is like 35 inches, um, like super flexed. So if I get anything in like an extra small, it just squeezes my lats to the point where I can't breathe. So this is like a perfect amount of being tight, but not too tight. And I like that it dips down in a V and it does have um, padding on the inside. So got this sports bra and I think this was like $10. Stuff at Marshalls is so, so cheap. I refuse to spend a ridiculous amount of money on sports bras. I just, I literally just can't. Like leggings is where I draw the line. <laughs> then I got this top and I like this because the front has the mesh here. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, then you saw this in my story ages ago. I'm not sure what this brand is. It says Vogo Athletics any of you know who that is. I uh, got it in a size medium and I believe this was 12 or 13 dollars and then I got this top which I absolutely love. Technically this isn't really athletic wear but I'm putting it in this haul anyways because why not. Um, but it looks like this. This is actually by Free People so you can find really nice brands at these uh, shops and I got this for ten dollars and the last thing that I got from Marshalls was a hoodie. I haven't worn this yet but Maybe I'll wear it today. I don't know. I was going to wear it when I'm squatting. So I do squat today in about half an hour. So <laughs> wish me luck. But it's just a sleeveless hoodie. But I like the front because it has like the crisscross. And that's something that looks really flattering um, on me for whatever reason. I think it looks really good on anyone. But that is something that I absolutely love. This brand is Scorpio Soul. And I got this in a size medium. And then the last place that I got stuff from was TJ Maxx. So this is a little more recent and I got a romper and a purse and the purse bag backpack type thing is by Kenneth Cole. Um, I have been looking for another black bag forever. You guys follow me on any of my social media and you see my going out photos. Um, you guys will see I always wear the same black bag. It's from Charming Charlie's. I've had it literally forever but I need something that's just a little bit bigger that I can fit my wallet in like my entire wallet so I got this because you can wear it like a normal bag if you have the strap like this and then you can also change the straps and put them through this little loop and you can wear it like a backpack so I thought that was really really cute got this for $19 and then I got this romper all of you told me to get it when I was at TJ Maxx so I decided to go with this one um, this was $15 it's by Rolla Coaster, <laughs> and it's in a size small. So when I first picked it up, I wasn't sure if it was a romper or dress or a top because it looks so short, but when you put it on, it fits me so well. It doesn't have adjustable straps, but um, I guess it just fits my, my height perfectly. I'm really tall, and I don't usually have trouble finding rompers, but they tend to be too short on me, but this is actually the perfect length. So that is it for today's haul. If you guys enjoyed it and you're excited to see more in the future, please give it a thumbs up. Helps out a lot. Be sure to let me know what your favorite item was in the comments down below. Let me know if there's any specific shops in London that you guys want me to haul from once I get down there. And then if there's anything that you guys have any extra questions about, whether it's related to this video or it's just completely random, just let me know in the comments down below. I try my best to respond to the majority of them, but that's going to be it. And I'll see you in my next one. I love you. Bye.